Despite an ever-increasing death toll and a fierce crackdown by security forces using tear gas, clubs and, in some cases, live ammunition, protests continue to gather momentum amongst Iranians over the death of young Iranian woman Massa Armani while in police custody. Riot police clashed with protesters in dozens of cities on Tuesday, according to state media and social media platforms. Videos posted on social media showed protesters calling for the fall of the clerical establishment. Globally, momentum has not wavered. Rallies have been held continuously over the last week, from New York to Buenos Aires, Syria and here in Athens. Amnesty International tweeted that Iran's security forces have responded to the protests with unlawful force, including by using live ammunition, birdshot and other metal pellets, killing dozens of people and injuring hundreds of others. Massi Alinejad, a US-based Iranian journalist and women's rights activist, said the protests erupting is a tipping point for Iran. For millions of Iranian people right now, the brutal death of Mahsa Amini is becoming a turning point. But for the Islamic Republic, the murder of Mahsa Amini is becoming a tipping point because compulsory hijab is not just a small piece of cloth. It's like the Berlin Wall. And if Iranian women manage to tear this wall down, the Islamic Republic won't exist. State media in Iran have branded the protesters hypocrites, rioters, thugs and seditionists, while state television and police clash with rioters in some cities. Videos posted on social media from inside Iran showed protesters chanting women, life, liberty, while women waved and burnt their veils. On Tuesday, a spokesperson for the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights called on Iran's clerical rulers to fully respect the rights to freedom of opinion, expression, peaceful assembly and association. Iranian author and professor of political science at the University of Tennessee, Chattanooga, Saeed Golka, said we should support Iran like we support Ukraine. The entire world, and especially the people who are living in democratic society, should, should, should uh, remember that we are fighting uh, in a one battle in liberalism, liberal democracy against authoritarianism. Iranians are part of this you know, fight. You cannot leave them alone. You have to support them as you are supporting Ukraine completely, rightly, and with all you have. You have to support the Iranian people. They are demanding their basic rights. And if you believe to the human rights, if you believe to the liberal values, you have to believe it for everybody else. Officials say 41 people, including members of the police and a pro-government militia, have died during the protests. But Iranian human rights groups have reported a higher toll.